The partial government shutdown now the longest in U.S. history. And as ABC's Serena Marshall reports, as the shutdown drags on, its effects are starting to ripple across the country. The president departing the White House for New Orleans, but the shutdown following him. I've been here all weekend. I don't know if we're closer to deal. Congress back in D.C. from their home districts and not feeling the pressure yet. A new ABC News Washington Post poll finds 82 percent of Americans say they have not been inconvenienced. And the president still insists federal workers are with him. Many of the people that aren't being paid right now are in total agreement with us. But the same poll found most Americans blame Mr. Trump and Republicans for the shutdown. One of his biggest allies telling the president over the weekend. I tried to see if we could open up the government for a limited period of time to negotiate a deal. The impact felt most by federal workers and their families. We're going to have to take loans. We're going to have to use credit cards. I mean, I really don't want to be in that situation. In Maryland, hundreds of federal employees visiting a pop-up food bank. In Tampa, the New York Times reporting TSA officers showing up in their uniforms and collecting food from a makeshift food pantry. After their paychecks last week, read zero dollars. TSA callouts are now more than double compared to normal operations with major airports, including Miami and Houston, closing terminals. The FAA has called more inspectors back to work, as did the FDA. The agency's commissioner called the funding lapse one of the most significant operational challenges in FDA's recent history. The president said he's not interested in reopening the government while negotiations continue because that would only delay the problem of funding his border wall, not solve it. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington.